All right, I'm gonna preface it by saying that this headlight is giving me more trouble than I've had in the past, so I apologize for that, but here is how I mount the, ref the projector onto the reflector. So here we've got the reflector. Um, it's a nice, this one actually feels like it's metal instead of plastic, so I actually kind of like it. Um, and here's the projector. I've already cut the, the bottom of it out. Um, the new miter saw I got doesn't actually cut quite as deep as the old one did, so anyway. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get this big fat grommet. And you see that it's kind of cupped on one side, so you want to cup the projector. This is going to be fun doing it with one hand. So then the projector, at this point, just goes right in to the reflector. On the back side, it should look kind of like this. Alright, let this thing focus. Come on, okay. So what you have is you have this key. Now this piece um, has this little notch right... Oh, whatever. So right there has that little notch right there that fits to the top right there. So this would go in right in there. And obviously I'm doing this one-handed, so hopefully it's just to kind of show you how everything goes together. Um, there is another thin um, rubber washer that I don't necessarily put in initially, um, but I put it in later. And then this would go on there. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm having a little bit of an issue with this headlight, and that in most of the headlights that I've had in the past, this will actually roll all the way down to this ring right here and this new headlight for whatever reason if I try to put it in it won't go as it is I'm hoping that it would see it has quite a bit of a gap right there so what I think I'm gonna have to do is one of two things you have to I'm gonna have to either dremel this out a little bit more or do what you suggested which is to cut it now, um, in the past, just to kind of give you an idea, here's my um, bolt, and you notice that it's a little bit scarred up. Um, I normally use, once I get the thread started, I normally use um, needle nose pliers to snug it up. Um, in this case, um, because I'm having this issue, I might follow you know, your suggestion also, and actually I might cut this a little bit. Or I'm thinking of actually taking a Dremel tool and just kind of, you know, running it around here to just kind of make this hole just slightly bigger. Um, but I found that once this goes in there, there's not a socket that'll fit and cover the nut at the same time. Um, anyways, and if you do have, if the rubber um, piece does fit, I normally put that rubber piece, I think, on the back side between the ring and this. And it just helps. I don't know what it does. I don't think it does anything really. I think all the dampening is done on the one that's on the projector. Um, anyways, I hope this helps. I'll and if I hope that um, you know if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, on the other part, I guess I'll say I normally drill a hole for the high beam pass, you know, cutoff switch. I normally cut it right there, right where that crease is. And interestingly enough, on the inside, it ends up landing about right there. And this big old grommet right here ends up covering the hole a little bit, ever so slightly. It ends up covering, so I actually feel like it pretty much does a pretty good seal on the whole thing. Anyway, I hope you find this video information, you know, all the information that you need from it. Um, if you have any other questions, just, uh, you know, hit me up. You know where to get me. Thanks. Bye.